everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the whole world are you guys doing today? So good to see you again. Thank you so much for stopping by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is just, this is gonna be a short video, you guys, just a little bit of a haul from a few places. And I'm gonna show you my new car. I've already recorded that footage, so let's morph right on over to that footage and I'll show you the car first. Be right back here for a little bit of a haul in just a minute. Be right back. Okie dokie everyone, here I am with my new car. <laughs> Got it running. I'm going to get in and show you all the, well some of the bells and whistles. I'll be honest with you, I don't exactly know about everything quite yet, but this is called Tungsten. The color is tungsten. It's like a champagne -y color. You see that it is an Outback, Subaru Outback. And it is a pretty, pretty vehicle. And we are loving it. Absolutely loving it. So far. It is so safe. It is just lovely. Honestly. You know, when you haven't had a new car in a while and then all of a sudden you get in a, a new car and even from Chris's Outback, which is like a 2014, I believe, 13 or 14. And then now to this is a 2018. <laughs> They've upgraded things so much. And this is like the same kind of, kind of vehicle that he has, only this one has a bigger motor. So this has a 3.6 where his has a 2 point, I don't know, 2.8, something like that. But anyway, it's really super pretty. This is two, 3.6 R. And Subaru Outback. And I ordered, they have, with Subaru, they have something called badging that you put right here on the back. And it tells you, it gives you like a number. Like this is our second Outback, so I got a number two. And then you can pick little badges. And I picked like a family badge and music and dog Paul and uh, DIY, I think, and some other things like that. It's really cool. I'll show you that when it comes in. It takes five to six weeks to come in though. So, that's roof rack. Let me show you the back seat first. And this, uh, the interior is ivory. Get you on in here so you can see, there we go. And then you can see that these seats fold all the way forward and it does have a, little thing on the back there that you can pull over whatever you might buy if you need to it's got usb a little usb thing in somewhere back here oh you haven't gotten back here yet but somewhere there's there it is usb power outlet there you go look at that so that's kind of cool for the back seat folks and they have heated seats back here that they can control in a pocket I haven't even looked back here. Do we have cup holders? I don't know, let me look. <laughs> yes, cup holders, yay! The all important cup holder. All right, let me climb in the driver's seat here. I'll show you some of the stuff about it. And here it is. Let me get in, I got my air conditioner on. I had to turn my radio off because you know, can't have any other music on my YouTube that is monetized so but it is a really nice radio you can see I've got my some of my radio favorite radio stations set the 70s the 60s the blend is my favorite the 70s the 60s Y2 country yacht rock which is like a love song you know uh, channel 40s is really good and then it gives you like Two different pages I haven't said everything or three different pages excuse me but you can just do that it's very interactive it's got Apple oh it's got eyesight so that it keeps you tells you when you're going out of the lanes it's got I can't remember what it's called Apple I can talk to Siri uh, Apple play I think and I can text via the car if I have it plugged in I have my phone plugged in. I can text and it tells me how to, you know, how to text or, you know, I can just say, hey, Kristen, you know, 
what are you doing? You want to come over for lunch or something like that? And they'll ask me to, if I want to send it, you know, and who and so on and so forth. It's very neat. We did that this morning. It also has a, a cruise control, an interactive cruise control, which is really neat. It You can set it to keep you uh, so far behind the vehicle in front of you. And it, and it, you can set your like speed for faster than you're going and it doesn't matter it still keeps you within so many car lengths away you can push this button and it keeps you like one car length or two car lengths or whatever car length and a half away from the car in front of you and it will adjust it will move forward and and keep exactly that space between you and the car in front of you it is really cool then it's got uh, like up here, you can, that's, Chris was looking at the tire pressures and I'm going zero miles per hour. You can see that it is, uh, I don't know what that means. Miles per gallon. No, we've gone 260 miles. There we go. That makes more sense. 260 miles. And when you're driving, it tells you, you know, how much you're getting miles per gallon at that time. So it's right now 129. Temperature is 90 degrees. Pull and hard. I set switch for menu. Okay. I haven't learned everything yet, you guys, but this is a very nice. It's got a little, it's got SOS. You can call, I think it's uh, Starlink or something like that if I get in trouble. Get that free for a year. Uh, it's got a sunroof, you know, which I haven't even opened. There's the sunroof. So these are all the controls for that. This is a glasses holder here. You know, and I got a center console here. I haven't put anything in here yet. So there's the van sitting over there. We're gonna sell it. So I need to move my little, you know, my Yankee candle, little smells good thing with the little charms and everything that I got. I need to move it in here. I haven't done anything like that. I haven't had a chance. So but I love it. I'll tell you, this is considered quote unquote my vehicle because <laughs> Chris has his out back and the van was always my vehicle. So I did drive us around town today and it's, it's lovely. You guys, it really is, it has auto windows. You can put, you know, just press one button and put it down and then it goes back up for both sides and the uh, passenger side has the same. So it's, it's lovely. I I'm, I'm feel very blessed that uh, we've gotten this and uh, we will keep it for a very long time. We're not people who turn in our cars a lot or trade them in or whatever. We'll, you know, we'll keep this. I think Chris told them yesterday at least six years, you know, Lord willing, unless something happens, you know. But anyway, that's my car. So let's go back inside and I'll do a little haul for you. And then that'll be it for this video. <laughs> be right back in just a few minutes. Isn't that nice, you guys? I tell you, I feel so blessed and so lucky to be able to have that new car. I'm telling you, we don't get a lot of new vehicles. We really don't. You know, we drive them for a long time and we drive them pretty much into the ground. So, uh, I mean, the van still had some life in it, but Chris was like, nope, we're ready to, to get a new car. And I was like, Okay, so we did. So I'm going to be thrilled. And we're going to try to rig up my camera in there for my car chit-chats. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to use my phone. Chris had mentioned something about a Bluetooth program that will put a little camera up in there and Bluetooth to my phone. I'm not sure. We're trying to do some research on that and see if we can make that a, a better experience. I'm not sure if if I can get the phone far enough away from me like I can in the van, but we'll see. We'll play around with it and we'll see what we can come up with. First of all, I've lost 31 pounds. I lost another pound, you guys. I had to tell you that. I'm claiming that one more pound. But anyway, uh, beyond that, I am going to go ahead and show you what I picked up here, and it's not much. I went back to Joann's to try to get some more of that orange and white gingham ribbon you know the one i had was two and a half inches wide you guys all they had left was the one and a half inch 
So I went ahead and picked it up, but all of the two and a half inch ribbon was gone. Now I'll keep going back and rechecking and I couldn't see where they had like the, the extra ribbon stashed. So I don't know. And anyway, I picked me up one roll of this uh, one and a half ribbon and this is one and a half inches by 12 feet. There's not a lot on these rolls and it was 4.99, 40% off of 4.99. So I did get this and they did not have any of the scarecrow ribbon that I used in my funky bow swag for my little fall tree. They didn't have any, you guys. I was like, <laughs> so not even in a one and a half inch. So I'm, I'm fresh out of luck for now anyway. But anyway, I did pick up a few other little ribbons just because I had not seen them the other day and I went ahead and picked them up. I thought this was pretty. And this can be used, you know, throughout the year. It doesn't have to be used for just fall, but it is considered autumn or fall. So again, it was 4 dollars 40% off, uh, and it's 12 feet by, or one and a half inches by 12 feet. And then I got me these, aren't these pretty? And you know I got that one plaid that's very burgundy-ish looking. Oh, it'd be pretty, maybe for my uh, lantern back here, or the one up on top of my desk. I'm not sure where I'll use this, but it's so pretty. So I got that, and this one, which I think is really pretty. Kind of a muted gold. I used a lot of good bit of gold in my fall decor, so I think this will pair really nicely with some of my fall decor. And then one more with the owls on it. <laughs> I'm not sure where I'll use this. I'll maybe put it in with a, a funky bow, I'm not sure. But I thought that was real cute. And this is 7 eighths inch by 9 feet. So there's really not much on this at all. But I thought it was cute. So that was all I got. And then and I picked up one more of these, which I just love. I got one, and I want to put these on my credenza, on my, you know, underneath my TV that uh, credenza underneath my TV but I just think these are really, really pretty. Or I could put them here on my ivy table. I'm not sure, but I'll put them, I'll pair them on either end of a table, I feel sure. So, thought that was really pretty. $25, 40% off. So I got that. Then I went yesterday, got my hair done. You can see I got my hair done. And I got my nails done. So there's my nails. Let me haul my nails. Went back to my classic pink and whites and she, you know, gave me a, a pretty design it's not focusing pretty design on each ring finger so got those done and my hair yesterday was my spa day and the day we picked up the car it was crazy it was a crazy day uh, then I had stopped in at World Market just to pick up really just to kill some time uh, until I went into my hairdresser because my hairdresser is close to where our World Market is and I just picked up a few things, not to use for anything specific, but just to have here. And I was just poking around in there, honestly, and just got me this bag. Their bags, you guys, are so nice. If you've not been into a world market, just venture in just to take a look at their bags. They are thick and nice and lovely, honestly, just lovely. And this was $3.99 for this bag. And then I got me some pink tissue paper to match. And then I just saw this little teeny tiny bag, which I thought was just really cute. Uh, this was $2.99 for this. And then this little bag, which I thought was just adorable. And it was $2.99. <laughs> Didn't get me any tissue paper to go in this. And I got a cute little notebook, $3.95 for this. When your heart speaks. I thought that was super cute. And it's like a magnetic closure. And that's what it looks like. I'm forever leaving Chris notes and him me notes, you know. So I thought that would be, I'll just put it here in my little basket here on the on the counter and we'll use it. 
I thought that was super cute. And then I got me some, just some regular blank note cards with envelopes. So I've been trying to write thank you notes, but I haven't, still haven't gotten a couple done that I need to get done. I've just been so busy. So 12 blank note cards and 12 lined envelopes. So, got those. That's all I got. So I told you it was a little teeny tiny haul. But then today we stopped by DSW because, let me take my shoe off and show you. I have a pair of shoes. These, oops, it dropped onto the floor. Hang on. <laughs> I have these shoes in black. And I had not worn these red ones. Look at the dog hair on them. Oh my land, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but I, ha I wore my black ones and when I was heavier, I stretched them out and they fall off of my feet now. They literally fall off of my feet when I walk. I was like, well, these are not gonna do me any good. So I went into DSW and those are these are not cheap shoes. I'm just gonna tell you right out. Uh, these were $50 shoes. So I got me another pair of blacks. I wear an eight and a half, but I had to go up a half a size in these. These are nines. So I got me another pair of black. These are really comfortable shoes. Really, really comfortable. You can put these on. For me, I could put them on and not have to break them in. So I really like these. And then I found the cutest little pair that I had to get. These were $40. They're not cheap either. But these are super cute and I know what I'm gonna wear these with you know that little off-the-shoulder uh, jumpsuit that I got I'm gonna wear these little ankle shoes are they not just the cutest they are really cute on too really 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 cute on so I don't think I can show you them on I will try though how about if I try that I'll try to put my cameras and then step back so you can see these on. These are super cute on. So let me put these on and I'll be right back and try to show them to you. Okay guys, here we go. Let's see if I can get myself into the picture. Aren't they just as cute as a button? I just think they are adorable. And they will look really cute with that little jumpsuit that I have, you know? So I love them, absolutely love them. Super cute, super, super, super cute. <laughs> but that's it for this one, you guys. That's it for today. Excuse the mess behind me. Uh, my house is a, is a sight. I haven't had a chance to do anything with it. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for this one, you guys. So let me just say that I hope that if there's anyone out there struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, that you have somebody there that can help you get through each day as best as you can. Please know that you're in my thoughts and my prayers. Uh, I hope that there's nothing weighing on your minds or on your hearts, pulling your attention away from where it should be or where you want it to be. Uh, I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, to bits. <laughs> so I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.